I am Brandon Peterson with Kit Fox Aircraft, and uh, we've brought our newly finished uh, Series 7, Kit Fox Series 7, that my wife and I built at the factory. Uh, it is equipped with a new Rotax 916 IS. We're uh, one of the first ones to actually have one flying uh, problem free. We haven't had any issues with it, no heating issues, no nothing. We've been installing Rotaxes a long time, so this is just a little more of the same for us. Uh, this will be available to put in any one of our models, the STI, the Speedster, or the Super Sport. Um, some of the advantages of the 916, having that extra power, it really is more than, more than enough for a Kit Fox. Uh, we're seeing climb rates as much as uh, 1,800 to 2,000 feet a minute, which is just uh, almost absurd. But uh, we're having a great time playing with that and experimenting and seeing what all we can get out of it. Uh, we're, we're hitting top end speeds that we've not seen before. Cruise speeds are, are nice, but uh, this engine worked great right out of the gate. It was smooth, uh, just purrs like a kitten. The combination of the MT prop uh, adds to the smoothness, but uh, causes acceleration like it's a sports car. It just leaps off the line and uh, gets us right up to cruise speed, no problem. So been real happy with that combination as a whole. Comparing the 915 and the 916, I, I initially didn't think there would be that big of a difference in 20 horsepower, but uh, it does accelerate much faster. It gets us through our flap speed so fast that we either have to pitch up real steep to keep us sl going slow, or I just have to work real fast to get out, retrim, and, and uh, dump the flap. So um, the, the overhaul, the longer overhaul, the TBO on the 916 is real attractive to a lot of customers uh, because they're looking at a 2000 TBO rather than the shorter TBO of the, the 915. We're seeing a lot of people move towards the turbo side of things. Even though it's added weight and a little more complexity and, and changes the installation a little bit, the, uh, the reality is people want the extra power. Uh, the, the Kit Fox is so much fun on 100 horsepower, especially if you can keep it light. The, the airplane really performs well and, and is very, very efficient. But in a lot of mountain flying that we do, the uh, high density altitudes, things like that, the turbocharger just makes more sense, buys you a little more margin for safety, make sure you're gonna clear that terrain at the end of the, the runway and, and uh, you can get out of that mountain canyon and, and be safe. So uh, a lot of people are going that way just because it makes sense. We're pretty well locked on right now. We're working with Rotax on uh, fuel pumps. But aside from that, we're extremely happy with the installation we've got going here on this airplane. Uh, we've also got another uh, STI here with the 916. Both of them are running neck and neck and, and running the same temperatures, running the same uh, fuel burn, things like that, to where we're, we're pretty happy with what we got going here. Darn it all, I guess, if we have to do any more testing, we're just going to have to fly it more and just make sure that it works, burn, burn a few hundred hours and, and uh, just prove it out. You know, it's something we have to do. It's, somebody's got to do it. It's, the, uh, the lead time for our kits is about two years out currently. Uh, check local listings, but uh, we're, we're looking at about two years for kit delivery. So that gives people time to research and really figure out what they want in that package. And, uh, you know, there may be new developments or maybe changes that come over the next, you know, 12 to 18 months that, that will adapt very easily into what, what they can do at that point. Yeah, it's just checking a different box. If they want the 916, they'll just uh, specify that one instead of the 915. So, and then the weight, the install weight's the same for us. So uh, the firewall forward package didn't change at all. So really, it is very simple to say I want this one or that one. And uh, I say, other than price, if you uh, if if you want the 915, go with the 916. I worked uh, four months in a row, no days off, and about 14, 15, 16 hours a day. So I'm ready for a little break when we get home from Oshkosh. But uh, the idea is get home, start fulfilling orders. We're going to put things in line to, to uh, you know, get everybody queued up. But you know, the idea is just to keep doing what we do. You know, we we have a system in place that we know and we trust. Our customers know what they can expect from us. We deliver on time, sometimes even early. And with that, we want to just make sure that we continue to deliver the best product we can at a, at a great value. This airplane behind me um, has kind of been dubbed the no compromise kit fox. So uh, everybody just says, you know, that I didn't compromise anywhere and, and I just did it the way I wanted to do it. So you'll see a lot of features in this airplane in particular, uh, you know, dual, dual panel, the Garmin. Uh, we've got a three axis autopilot, custom paint scheme. We've got just all the options, custom interior, things like that. And we didn't really want to do too much outside of what would be available to anybody else that wanted to repeat this. So if somebody wants to do this airplane, we have just about everything, probably 99% of the things that, that they can repeat this installation with and, and you know, layout and everything else. Um, I wouldn't recommend this paint scheme. It was a lot of work. <laughs> so uh, five colors is a little too many on an airplane to, to try and execute. It's a little difficult. But um, yeah, the, uh, the reality is if somebody wanted to duplicate this, they're probably looking at about $250,000 time they you know factor in 
time, paint, you know, materials and all that kind of stuff. Most often we're going to see people spend about 125 to maybe $175,000, somewhere in that range, depending on how they equip it, which engine, avionics and all that kind of stuff. But uh, typically for, you know, that 125 to 175, people can have a very, very nice kit fox they're going to be happy with for a long time. So we're out here enjoying the, uh, the Oshkosh weather and we're staying dry so far, but uh, we'd love to show off this airplane or any of our airplanes that are on the field here. And, uh, you know, if somebody wants a tour of the factory, they can always get a hold of us and schedule a time to come out and visit us in, in Homedale, Idaho, and uh, we'll be happy to show them around.